I know this was supposed to be a disaster movie, but as a girl who grew up in the Midwest, particularly Oklahoma, Kansas, Minnesota, and Iowa, this movie was full of Midwestern nostalgia. Twisters. Is it a sequel? Is it a remake? It's like something in between. There was already a Twister movie back in 1996 that I didn't watch, so I didn't know this was like a already existing concept. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, and I don't know, I feel like it's definitely because I grew up in Oklahoma. I used to complain about living in the Midwest because I'm like, there's nothing out here. It's just plains, grassland, flat nothingness. Now that I've gotten older and I've lived in other places outside of the Midwest, it's different looking back on it. Nostalgia is a very powerful ingredient and I don't know if I just like this movie because it made me super nostalgic or if it was actually a good movie. I think overall it was a decent movie though. There's nothing that really stood out that I can really complain about all that much. So the girl in this movie, Kate, played by Daisy Edgar Jones, I've only seen her in Where the Crawdads Sing and that was a decent movie. I watched it on an airplane. And then obviously Glenn Powell, seen him in Top Gun Maverick and then earlier this year, Anyone But You. It's got a good cast. There's a bunch of other characters. I don't know their names. All the characters in this story, they made the atmosphere very lively. So I enjoyed that. The main character, Kate, her goal is basically to stop a tornado. She was born a tornado whisperer. Okay, I don't know if she was born a tornado whisperer, but she's always had like a love for like weather and storms and she has like this sixth sense kind of a thing where she can tell if the conditions are right to form a tornado so she like came up with this project where she's gonna like basically stop a tornado with some material to absorb moisture the science in this is probably not even real but anyway so she was on this mission and she had a group of friends that were helping her out. They were doing this whole project. Things kind of go wrong and she loses all of her friends, including her boyfriend. She's traumatized by tornadoes now. Now in the present, one of the surviving friends is now asking her to help him collect more data on tornadoes for this company. She already moved to New York, but she's going back to Oklahoma. <laughs> this movie made me want to go to Oklahoma. I don't think it was intended to romanticize Oklahoma. I don't live there anymore. I'm sure if any of you guys live in Oklahoma, it's probably different. It's probably not. You probably don't feel like this. But for me, because I lived there as a kid and then I moved away and I never went back. I've driven through it a few times, but I've never actually revisited my hometown of Stillwater. I don't know if I would call it my hometown though. I don't think, I don't think that's the definition of a hometown. It's a very fuzzy memory. Sometimes all of these Midwestern states sort of meld into one in my memory. You'll drive on the same highway through Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Nebraska all the way up to like the Dakotas. I mean, I've been all the way up to Canada and you can't even tell you entered a new state. If there was no welcome to so-and-so state sign, I don't think you can usually tell you've left one state, entered another because the land is just the same. But then my dad was always like, well, the soil is different. In Oklahoma, the soil is red. And then in Minnesota, it's like black. And I was just like, okay, dad, but is anyone paying attention to that? I don't think so. After I lived in Oklahoma, I moved to Kansas and there we have the Wizard of Oz. There were references to the Wizard of Oz in this movie too. I know it's a very famous movie, but it kind of freaked me out as a kid. Then again, a lot of things freaked me out as a kid. Thomas the Tank Engine, like my dad, I thought I loved Thomas. Every time it came on TV, he'd be like, oh my God, hey, it's Thomas, your favorite. And as a kid, Thomas the Tank Engine freaked me out and I was just too scared to tell my dad. So I kind of went along with it. Back to the movie, they're chasing tornadoes to collect data. There's this other team in which Glenn Powell's character leads. His name's Tyler Owens and he's known as the Tornado Wrangler. He is a YouTuber that chases tornadoes and kind of posts stuff on the internet. And he's quite famous, I guess. He sells a bunch of merch with his face on it. I thought he was gonna play that really annoying, obnoxious character, because that's how he came off in the beginning. I really didn't like him in the beginning, but then I sort of warmed up to him and I think their interactions were kind of cute. Him and Kate, they had some chemistry there. Kate was kind of, she's your typical traumatized girl that's not really into any of this. And she's just trying to help her friend and then go back to New York. For some reason, Tyler's like, 
like really interested in her. He borderline stalks her. It's kind of creepy. But then, you know, because Glenn Powell's hot, it's cute. I mean, if he wasn't hot, it would have been creepy. So it's one of those scenarios where it only works because you're hot. Their relationship sort of develops as eventually she finds out that her friend is actually working for this evil dude who it isn't. We don't really learn too much about him. But basically, every time a tornado destroys a town, he's going to swoop in and buy people's land for cheap. So he takes advantage of people's suffering. And that's why he's evil. And then she finds out that Tyler Owens is actually good because he uses the money he earns from selling his merch to help the people who have been devastated by tornadoes. As an audience member watching this, I started falling for Tyler Owens. They go to this rodeo. I feel like they went pretty hard on this whole country Midwestern theme. They played a bunch of country music in this to get the vibe. I don't understand the scene of the rodeo other than to basically again portray the Midwest as some cool country place. I've never been to a rodeo though and I don't even like country music but it's kind of what you would imagine. A very stereotypical way of viewing Oklahoma I guess. There were a lot of beautiful shots of the Great Plains, the weather, forming tornadoes, storms. I don't no, I used to hate the Great Plains when I was little. Every time we went on road trips in the Midwest, everything would look the same. And I was obsessed with the city when I was little. I wanted to be an architect and I loved skylines of cities and buildings, but I lived in the freaking rural countryside. I always complained about it, but now that I'm older and I've lived in bigger cities, thinking back, it's a different experience. There was a lot of tornadoes. One thing I kind of didn't really get was the whole tornado warning thing. <laughs> the tornado warning is so such a familiar sound that I've heard so many times. I've lived in the Midwest for 20 plus years and I've never actually seen a tornado. There was one character in this that was like, the sirens going off, but nine times out of 10, there's no tornadoes. I actually lived in apartment buildings that didn't have basements, but we did have public tornado shelters. And I remember my friends and I, we used to play on the rooftops of those shelters. The closest I've ever been to a tornado was, it was in Oklahoma, interestingly enough. It was probably like a block away from my house, but it was in the middle of the night my family was like oh I don't know if we want to go outside so my dad just made me sit in the bathtub <laughs> and to this day I don't know why I don't know why the bathtub is the safest place to be if you don't have a basement so yeah there were so many tornadoes in this movie and there were so many moments you're kind of like why are people holding all of these events like at the rodeo the tornado just shows up randomly and everyone's in a frenzy they're panicking and running away but I'm just like wasn't there like a tornado watch or something Thing before that happened like I don't know why you would even hold events like this if there was a possibility of a tornado showing up. That was pretty unrealistic, as was the softball game. They wanted to add more suspense to the scenes at the cost of making Oklahomans seem stupid. There were so many tornadoes in this movie. I get that you guys are actually going to the location chasing these tornadoes, but still, it's kind of weird that Oklahoma would have so many tornadoes in the span of one week. I think this movie was supposed to be romantic. Kate and Tyler were supposed to be a thing, and her friend, Javi, he was was... I don't know what he was supposed to be. I thought he was either supposed to just be a friend or he was supposed to be like a guy who was friend zoned. And because he was so ambiguous, he felt like a third wheel at points. There's not too much of the plot to really go over. It's just a good time. It's a fun time. This movie is a fun time. Nostalgic if you're like me and like to project. I feel like I projected so much onto Kate. She also left Oklahoma and then went back and then she's driving and then she's listening to country music. I don't think I would ever do that, but she actually grew up on a farm. Like her mom tends to cattle. They had a barn. I was like, wow, I never had a barn. I also really like stormy weather too. I remember when I was younger, my mom also liked stormy weather. And every time it looked like there was going to be a storm outside, she would like open all the doors and windows and just dance around the house. And I was like, okay, mom, it's kind of weird, but I think growing up in a household like that has made me really like stormy weather. It made me appreciate the Midwest. It's actually beautiful. I don't know why I complained about the plains. It was scenery that I was so familiar with 
and yes, it was kind of boring to see it all the time, but now that it's been a while, I can appreciate the beauty. This movie made me feel good on the inside, <laughs> even though it was a disaster movie. And yeah, that's all I had to say about Twisters. You guys can let me know if you've seen this movie or if you have a different perspective, like you, you didn't live in Oklahoma and you don't have this nostalgia tied to it. Is it a good movie or you like the original better? I think a lot of people usually like the originals better. The original OGs are always better.